so in today's video I want to talk all about styling white blouses. So a couple of weeks ago I made a video on how to style a mini skirt 10 different ways 60s and 70s inspired and in that video I kind of came up with the idea to make it into a series and that is what we're gonna do and um, that is part two today here. Today is all about the white blouse. So the white blouse was a big staple fashion trend of the 60s and 70s. I think it's a very classic very versatile look and today I want to share 10 ways on how to style a white blouse to achieve a perfect 60s and 70s look with you. So first things first, for all of these looks you could just wear a simple white blouse and it will look perfect. I however kind of chose a few different white blouses just because I have a few different styles and I kind of want to show you the different styles of white blouse that were really popular during the 60s and 70s. But if you're just starting out, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on this or if you just don't have that many clothing items, I think getting one white blouse that fits you, that you feel confident and good in, is a great staple piece for a 60s and 70s wardrobe. So the first look I'm gonna style around this white blouse. This is an original 1960s vintage blouse. I absolutely love it. I think it's so beautiful, like the frilly detail that it has here, all of these amazing fabric covered buttons. I think it's such a gorgeous and beautiful piece. Also the sleeves on this blouse are absolutely dreamy. They're so gorgeous and I kind of love how the collar drapes down. I think it's such a beautiful look. So for the first outfit I wanted to do something very classic and super easy to recreate. So I decided to keep it very simple by styling it with a black mini skirt. This one you've seen in so many videos because I feel like mini skirts are such a versatile piece and I feel like Having a black mini skirt, it's super easy to get and it just works perfectly for that 1960s look. To kind of achieve that signature Mary Quan look of a mini skirt and flat shoes, I went with these ones. They have this beautiful tie detail up here and I think they're just absolutely gorgeous. They go great with the look. And now that by itself would be such a cute outfit. You could also go on and add a beret or a hat, but I wanted to do something else, something that was a big trend in the 60s and that I really enjoy doing and that is color blocking tights. So colored tights were a huge 60s trend and there was one twist on that look that I personally love a lot and that is different colored leg tights. So basically one leg is green, one leg is blue or something like that. So two colored tights are super rare to find. I've been looking for a pair for years now and I can't really find one that is in a good condition. I know that Sawdite Vintage is making them now, which is so cool, but I wanted to share a little trick with you on how I DIY the look of a two-colored tight. And to recreate that look, you are going to need two pairs of tights. So I have these two. I feel like these colors go great together. These are both vintage tights from the 60s, this beautiful turquoise one, and then this very pink berry colored one. So here's what you might want to do. So I don't really know how to explain this, but I'm gonna try and do my best with it. So basically you put on one tight leg on one of your legs and then with the other legs you go into the other tight and then you obviously have one leg left on every tight and I just tie them around my hips. So for me that works absolutely fine. Sometimes I also like to just put them on like this and then put on a pair of bike shorts underneath my short skirts. First of all, then you don't flash anyone. Second of all, everything kind of goes into the bike shorts and it secures it. I think it's a super cool and amazing look to recreate and it's a big 60s trend. I feel like it kind of adds this little bit of extra 60s chic to the simple white blouse and black skirt. Moving on with this gorgeous blouse. So this one is probably from the late 60s, early 70s. It is beautifully embroidered. I got this at a thrift store as well. Maybe this is a good time to share some thrift tips for white blouses with you. So first of all, just go through all of them. I always do that because when you like go to the rack and it's all white blouses, it might look a bit overwhelming and you're like, oh yeah, they all look the same. But if you really start digging through, you will find amazing pieces. My second advice would probably be to not be too stiff on your size. So this one, for example, this is a big blouse. This is absolutely not my size, but I like to tie it or tuck it in and then it works perfectly fine. Like if you don't mind clothing not always fitting you absolutely perfect, just look through all of the sizes because this one for example was like seven euros or something so it was super cheap and it is so so gorgeous i absolutely love it because of the embroidery this just feels super summery to me so i wanted to style this in a very cute summer look i personally love to wear blouses like this during the summertime i feel like they kind of cover you but they're still super light and 
really really nice to wear and so I paired them with these lace up suede leather shorts that I got in a recent thrift with me I think these are so so gorgeous I love the little detailing up here shorts or as they were called back then hot pants like this were a super big trend during the 70s and I feel like because this is such an earthy tone it matches the embroidered look of the blouse perfectly I also added this really cute 1960s straw hat I love the little bow detail that it has I think this is such a beautiful hat and I kind of really like the spring and summer vibes that this outfit has and then for shoes I went with these white wooden sandals I feel like if you've been watching my videos a lot recently I've been talking about these quite a bit um, they are just so comfortable to walk in they're so beautiful I personally love a wooden heel it was a big trend in the 60s and 70s and I just think they go perfectly with the outfit moving on with another amazing vintage find it is this blouse this is more of an off-white cream color you button it up here just pretty pretty normal but then it doesn't has a collar because it has these little strings going down here so blouses like this with these little details going down in the front were a big trend in the 60s I feel like this is such a cute blouse I really love the off-white kind of cream color the back of this is also super beautiful it kind of has this detail up here which just adds a bit of definition to the waist which I think is super flattering and yeah sometimes I feel like the crisp white look isn't quite what I want to go for so I really like that this blouse is cream color and also I really like to play with these little details and the the next look is all about that. So I styled this beautiful cream blouse with this wonderful suede leather mini dress. I personally really love this dress. I really love like the suede material. Mini dresses like these were super popular throughout the 60s. They're really classic A-line cut. They are so versatile and I really like to wear this one. I also really like to wear dresses made out of leather because they're kind of a bit warmer so they're perfect for the winter and fall time. And I feel like layering white blouses underneath dresses like this always creates such an amazing 60s look and I really like that the detailing on the neck kind of peeks out underneath the dress. I think that's such an amazing look. To accessorize that look I added this beautiful white beret that I've been styling a lot lately but honestly I just really love this. I think it's such a cute look. And then to kind of match the theme of the dark brown suede leather I paired these boots with it. I absolutely love them. They're one of my favorite pairs of original 1960s vintage boots and I just think they look absolutely gorgeous with the look. Moving on with this beautiful white blouse. This one is another one of my favorites. It's also a vintage blouse. This is from the 60s. While during the 70s, large collars were a big trend. During the 60s, tiny collars like this one were also super big. This one really reminds me a lot of Bridget Bardot. I feel like it would match her style perfectly. I really love the frilly details and this one is just the blouse where I feel like it is so simple yet kind of beautifully detailed that this blouse by itself already like makes the whole look. And with this one I wanted to style another super classic 60s inspired mod look and so to add a pop of color I went with this beautiful vintage mini skirt. I feel like collar mini skirts are such a cool 60s staple. They work perfectly with white blouses because I feel like a white blouse is such a simple basic piece that adding a splash of color makes such a cute look. And because I really wanted the skirt to be the standout piece of this look, I decided to keep it super simple with all of the accessories by just going with all white. So I added this super cute mod looking 60s inspired white belt, some cute little white knee high socks and these gorgeous white little 60s sandals. So that is another styling tip that I have for white blouses and blouses in general to pick one item of clothing to be the standout piece of your outfit and then kind of keeping it very simple with everything else. So for this look I didn't want the blouse to be like the standout piece and by adding everything else in white it just really ties all attention to that skirt while the blouse just really complements it in the best way possible. So this next look is super easy you don't really need a lot to recreate it but the one thing that you're going to need is an oversized white shirt. So this button-up shirt I got from the men's section. It is not vintage. I feel like it was one or two euros at some random thrift store. And it's just a very simple button-up white shirt. So if you go and buy a shirt like this, you want to look out for something that like covers your butt and kind of has that mini dress length. So oversized shirts like this always remind me of Jane Birkin. I feel like she's the queen of making that look a big trend. And I really wanted to style them the way that she did because I personally really love to do that. And that is by just adding a belt and some knee-high boots. I feel like it's such a cool 
easy look it's very effortless it is super easy it is so comfortable and i think it's just the perfect look for like a chill day and since to me that is just a classic late spring early summer look and so i added these wonderful sunglasses that i think match the outfit perfectly i also added this beautiful scarf and tied it in my hair i feel like this whole look also looks a lot like i'm just by the beach i just put this over my bathing suit and i really like those vibes so i feel like you could also exchange the boots for maybe like a sandal or something and just kind of make it a full-on summer look so the next outfit i styled with my only non-vintage white blouse which is this one this is a very simple white blouse it is very fitted i got it at a thrift store but it's originally by dry corn for beautiful people but as said i got this at the thrift store it is a very fitted and classic blouse and i really like it i feel like you can get blouses like this everywhere this is like the basic simple white blouse look and i wanted to style one blouse like this because i feel like this is the blouse that you or your mom or someone around you probably is most likely to own so simple white blouses like these i think are absolutely amazing to layer underneath all sorts of 60s looks. They look great under sweater vests and like sweaters in general. They look great under mini dresses, but I wanted to do something a bit more different and style it more on the 70s side of looks. So I decided to style this blouse with one of my absolutely favorite pair of flared jeans. I just have these light wash flared jeans. I feel like flared jeans and a fitted blouse are always a great 70s look. It is super simple. This kind of also reminds me a lot of Donna from that 70s show. I feel like she wore a lot of looks like this. And I I personally really like wearing something laid back like a pair of jeans with something a little bit more dressier like a white blouse. And since this is such a simple look, I really wanted to play with accessories for this. So I added a headscarf. I just chose this little scarf that I have and tied it up around my head. I also added this beautiful chain belt. I absolutely love the look of this with the jeans and also with the white shirt. I feel like since the outfit is so simple, it is really all about accessories. I also added these super big kind of squared looking sunglasses that just go with the look amazingly. And then for shoes, I went with one of my absolutely favorite pairs, which are these wooden heel 1970s folded leather black platform shoes i feel like these go so well with the outfit i love to wear them they are so comfortable even though they're pretty heavy they're just so easy to walk in and what i really wanted to show you with this look that you can just take simple pieces like a white blouse and a pair of jeans and just play with accessories and make it the perfect vintage look if you're interested in knowing more about how to accessorize 60s and 70s styles I'm gonna have a video linked here. I made a video all about accessorizing looks. And if you're interested in the topic, you might wanna check out that video. For the next look, I went with this blouse again. But this time I wanted to style it completely different. So I layered it underneath this very cute 60s vest. I feel like vests over blouses are such a cute 60s staple look. The Beatles really made that look popular. And I think you could never go wrong with an ensemble like this. Because I really wanted the blouse and the vest to be like the center of this look, I just added some very simple black leather shorts. I love them. I really love how they're sewn. I feel like the detailing down here makes them so beautiful. And since I feel like the whole blouse with vest trend is a very unisex trend, I wanted to go with a fedora. I feel like a fedora is a hat that is historically more worn by men, but I feel like it looks great on women as well. And to me, fashion doesn't really has a gender, so I feel like this hat goes perfectly with the look. I just honestly believe in that everyone should wear what they feel the most confident and comfortable in. To me, it really doesn't matter if something is from the men's section or the women's section. As long as I like it, as long as I feel good in it, I'm gonna wear it. And I would really love to encourage you to do the exact same because honestly, you should just dress in whatever makes you feel the most amazing. And then for shoes, I went with those same platform shoes. So this next outfit is also heavily inspired by Marian Faithful. I personally love her style and I feel like this outfit would have been right up her alley. So for the next look, I styled this blouse again, which is just that cream off-white blouse with the beautiful shawl detail. And this time I wanted to style this in a very beatnik, kind of French inspired look. And this time I wanted to style it in a very French inspired look. This look is also giving me strong Bridget Bardot vibes and I just really love to wear it so i paired the cream blouse with these pants they don't look like much but they look amazing on these are just white leg very simple cut 
corduroys. I think they look amazing and they were a huge trend during the 70s and also during like the late 60s and I just feel like corduroys and white blouse are such a cool look. So this outfit also gives me a lot of beatnik vibes so I paired it with this baker's boy hat and I really like how this looks together with the whole outfit. Personally I really love the look of pants like this with heel shoes so I went ahead and paired them with these. These are 1960s heels. They're so cute. They're kind of loafer inspired and since they're also this off-white creamy color I feel like they go perfectly with the blouse and I kind of really like the businessy look of that outfit so I added this bag as well. I feel like an outfit like this is perfect if your job acquires a bit more dressier wear or if you just personally really enjoy being a bit more dressier. I feel like this is a great look even if you don't want to go full-on vintage. This is a very beautiful, pretty true 60s look but still kind of looking very modern. For the next outfit I styled this white blouse again and this time I also wanted to style a Jane Birkin inspired look. I personally feel like Jane Birkin was one of the women alongside Bridget Bardot, Marion Faithful and quite a few others who wore the white blouse trend a lot but with this next look I really wanted to do another Jane Birkin inspired look and so I paired it with these amazing jean shorts. So these are vintage jean shorts. If you can't find vintage jean shorts you don't have them. I feel like you could just wear a regular pair of jean shorts and you will still achieve that vintage look. Since Jane Birkin wore a lot of big belts I added this beautiful dark brown suede leather one. She also wore a lot of sun hats and I really like that trend too so I went ahead and paired it with this beautiful white sun hat and then for shoes I just went with these very classic dark brown boots. So for my 10th and final look I wanted to style this blouse again because honestly this is one of my favorite items out of my entire wardrobe. I think this blouse is so gorgeous it's such a dream the material is so nice and I really wanted to style this one again. So this time I really wanted to accentuate the purple. I feel like that's a great thing to do with embroidered blouses like this, which if you have one, just take one of the colors out of the embroidery and then make that the basic color for the outfit. I feel like that is such a cool look and it really makes the embroidery even more prominent and stand out a lot more. So I paired it with my favorite skirt ever, which is this purple suede vintage skirt. I absolutely love this skirt and I think it just goes perfectly with the blouse. And since I really wanted the purple to be the outside standing color of this look. I also added this beautiful purple headscarf and for shoes I really wanted to repeat the white and so I just went with these white platform shoes. These are originally from the 70s and as you can see they have such a thick heel. They're just so comfortable to wear. I could walk in these all day and I feel like they just go great with the outfit. So these were my 10 ways to style a white blouse to achieve a perfect 60s and 70s inspired look. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to know which outfit was your favorite. Please leave a comment telling me that. And I would also love to know how you style white blouses. So please leave a comment telling me all about that. As said before, this is a series now. It's the 10 ways to style whatever item to achieve a perfect 60s and 70s look. If you have any more recommendations and idea on which items I could style next, Leave a comment telling me that and I would love to work on that soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would love you to give it a thumbs up and maybe share it with a friend. It supports me, it supports the channel and it would mean the absolute world. I upload multiple videos every single week all about 60s and 70s inspired fashion, pop culture and makeup. And if you're interested in that, you might want to subscribe so that you don't miss out on anything. I hope you're having an amazing day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine, take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys! Bye.